If war were to be scaled, every single soldier's life would affect the balance. Lawrence James Waskiewicz was the man who gave up his life to shift the scale in the Allies' favor during the Pacific Theater. He was only 19 years old when he enlisted in the U.S. Naval Reserve and served as a seaman first class. He died due to extreme injuries resulting from a Japanese bomber on June 17, 1944. While his name may not be recognized, his valor and bravery will not go unnoticed by the vaults of time. He was the child of an immigrant, the eldest of three sons, yet he enlisted in the U.S. Navy Reserves to fight for our nation. As a seaman, he was in the apprentice phase of his training, cultivating core skills and immersing himself in military life and culture. While his specific jobs aboard the ship are unknown, that does not invalidate the time and effort he put forth into his service. Every single one of these soldiers matter, and every single one of their stories deserves to be told. Franklin D. Roosevelt, one day after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, said it was a date that will live in infamy. He was correct. To this day, we remember and honor the fallen soldiers who lost their lives to protect our country. We stand here today, blue skies above us, on a tranquil summer's day, because of them and because of him. Lawrence Waskiewicz gave us something irreplaceable, the ultimate sacrifice. He gave his years of blue skies away so that future generations could live with hope and safety. His life was given in the name of freedom, in the name of America, and the name of those who had fallen before him. Thank you for your service, Lawrence Waskiewicz. You will not be forgotten.